agenda. And as a result, many Muslims are afraid to go to certain events. If it's about Palestine, if it's about the invasion of the Iraq, because they don't know whether or not this will involve the registration in what the police now call the pre-criminal space. They're just kind of flagged up because they went to a particular meeting. And this is a very extensive and well documented problem. Uh, that uh, the long-term outcome of that is unclear, but it is already the case uh, under anti-terrorism legislation in this country that some poor student at Exeter, if out of curiosity or by mistake, he or she downloads an Al-Qaeda song, for instance. That is now a strict liability offence under English law, which carries a minimum prison sentence of eight years. It's very, very ferocious and punitive. And the prisons, and I know this since I've worked um, as an expert witness in terrorism trials, the prisons are filling up with young Muslims who have accidentally downloaded stuff as part of a package that was mainly Bollywood film, but it has that in it. And it's a conveyor belt that takes them straight to, to the uh, criminal justice system. Uh, and Clive Stafford Smith and other human rights lawyers have protested about this, but uh, government only wheels with blunt instruments and really doesn't know what it's looking at. Uh, just as a coda to that, uh, which is kind of not quite funny, but perhaps appropriate for, for Halloween. Um, in one case that I was dealing with, um, this boy had been arrested, and one of the arguments that the police was using was that he downloaded a book called Al-Qaeda, which was in Arabic. So they spend a lot of money getting some amused Lebanese translator to do it into English so they can see what Al-Qaeda is about. And it's a 300-page book on Arabic grammar. <laughs> that, uh, that is the extent of the shocking ignorance that the establishment is deploying in order to deal with often quite subtle issues. And it, it does have a very strong inhibiting uh, influence on Muslims. So again, the three, the state is watching, we know that it's watching. We saw those uh, GCHQ manuals that were released by some whistleblower. And of course, um, this is a serious concern, not just for Muslims, but um, for people committed to freedom of expression to the values of a liberal society generally.